Welcome to Endorphasmic, where we talk about all things endorphasm. I am your hostess, Erica Porter. I want to get into the topic, I've discussed it before, about our conversations with self and how powerful our words are and how we unknowingly live our lives in a way that's consistent with the things that we say. And, you know, I'm a coach. And I pay a lot of attention to how individuals coach, whether that's instructors or, um, you know, like my son's coaches that he's had over the years, his football coaches, his lacrosse coaches, now his soccer coach. And I am very fine tuned to the selection of words that people use. And I will give an example. So... If I take a class and somebody says, you know, let, let's say that it's, I'll give you something that's incredibly measurable and that's, you know, RPMs on a bike. And somebody says, Hey, don't drop below a hundred RPMs. And immediately I'm thinking to myself, you know, that could be worded in a way that is far more positive and effective for an individual to, in fact, stay above RPMs. And that is that you need to speak to what you want people to do. And that is instead of saying, don't drop below a hundred RPMs, it'd be better stated as keep your RPMs above 100. So if people coached and listen, if you are a leader within a company, if you are a parent, if you are a spouse, or if you are, you know, if you have a partner, if you are leading people, you are a leader, you are a coach, coach to what you want people to do. Coach to what you want people to do. We automatically hear the negative. So if you're telling people not to do something, that's we're hearing what not to do and not what you want them to do. So if you want to get the ball in that goal, then this is what you need to do. Not, hey, don't do this if you want to get the ball in the goal. How about we start coaching our teams, whether that's on the soccer field or the individuals that we are leading in business, coach them to what you want them to do. It's very different when you tell people precisely what you want from them. Keep your RPMs above 100. Full out sprint, not don't drop be below 120 RPMs. All I'm hearing is drop below 120 RPMs. Coach to what you want people to do. And the same applies to self. If you're wanting something for yourself, then apply the same logic. What do you want to do? What is it that you're trying to achieve? So set your mind, use the words that are going to make you obtain whatever it is that you want. So if you are a leader within a company, if you are coaching classes, if you are a parent, if you, whatever position of, and I dare say authority, but any position of leadership you have, state what you want to have happen in the most positive way possible. And if we operate like that, perhaps we can change the world just a little bit. So with that, love, health, and happiness, always much respect.